James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is June 11th, 2023, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had our electromagnetic field struck for the last several hours. We're talking about over six and a half hours hours that we can see here of some force striking our electromagnetic field. This is Earth's shield and we see spikes here that go up to about 300 hertz. Usually when you see this, especially for such a long period of time, uh, it's making the Schumann resonance just spike off the hook. Now, let's say that we had no action yesterday, and I'm going to explain why I think that is. Jumping over to our Schumann residence, we see that it has been spiking hard. It's been spiking off the charts in some instances. Others are just significant spikes. This has been happening for approximately eight hours. Started at or right after 11 UTC time and has been ongoing for the last eight hours. It's right around 1900 UTC time currently. Ladies and gentlemen, these are significant spikes. You can see the geophones getting hit very hard up here on top. Now we're jumping over to a six day comparison of our Schumann residence. This too shows that for about the last seven or eight hours we've been spiking off the charts the charts here ended 50 hertz but prior to that all day yesterday from sundown on friday to sunset on saturday we've seen very little action i'd like to add that many of the scientists working at cern are actually jewish and follow the Jewish religious practices. I've noticed that we've had very little activity unless a university was utilizing CERN on a Saturday. Every Saturday, it looks like very little activity has occurred. I'm guessing the activity we do see is probably actually from lightning. Now, we're back in operation at CERN today. It's no longer the Sabbath, as far as the Jews are concerned. And we've got extreme spiking over 105, 10 hertz, here over 50 hertz, and for an extended period of time. Is CERN going to be on? Yes, CERN's going to be on. All right, these are our geo uh, phones and their hourly strips. Each hour is cut up into 15 minute increments. And we said that there was about eight hours of Schumann resonance spiking caught by our geophones. Well, believe it or not, this actually starts at around 1130, just as we talked about. And this goes up to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The problem is, is this is cut short and we can't see 17, 18, or 1900 hours, which have in fact passed. So let's say we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight full hours maybe eight and a half hours of our geophones just getting blasted by something all right here we can see the same exact thing happen 11 30 you can see all of a sudden these things spike off the chart all of our equipment caught that our geophones our ELF noise our ELF noise our second SR frequencies they all caught it right at 11.30, and they have it going to 1,800. It's really closer to 1,900 currently. So that is where you can quickly grab your eight hours plus. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's a heck of a run off the charts with the Schumann resonance. Ladies and gentlemen, then we go to the Large Hadron Collider, part of CERN their newest upgraded collider and we see that we've dealt with instant luminosity 
for instantaneous luminosity on and off all day long. We've had the beams on and off. It looks like we did have a, a lull between 11 UTC time and about 13 UTC time. We don't really see that in any of the Schumann charts, but we do know that this is on just about full capacity, as you can see here currently. The full capacity would be each beam at about 7,500 Jev to equal the machine's maximum capacity that's said to be 15 Tev. Now, I don't know if they've ever gone that high. I don't believe that they have. This is pretty close to as strong as the beams have been seen. Both beams are on and equal, and we can see that uh, we're dealing with some, well, serious power here at CERN, creating instantaneous luminosity, whatever that might be. Now, this is a little coinciding, or a little bit coinciding. I want to show you the College KP index. We were hit by some plasma that was in the space weather threshold or above the space weather threshold. And that really started here, guys, at around 9 UTC time. And that lasted through about 1300 UTC time. So that was a long time or six hour period that our college KP index shows we were actually being hit by space weather. That does not correspond perfectly with what we're seeing on CERN. Neither one of them corresponds perfectly. We still might be seeking the actual cause, but the fact that every Saturday we have no spiking and CERN's turned off really leads me in one direction. All right, taking a quick look at Discover so we can see if there's any solar storms hitting us. It does look like we had solar storms hitting us most of the day. Uh, just as the day started here, we have readings up to about 20 centimeters cubed of plasma, twice the space weather threshold. And that is on and off. And you can see the crossovers up here. Uh, when they seem to peak here, I know that that's not much of a peak, but definitely a peak. Now, all of it's not explainable. We have solar winds go from 3 to 400 kilometers per second. And then here we see them at about 430 here, 442. None of this, ladies and gentlemen, none of this should have caused any type of solar disturbance that I see here, except for maybe the 20 centimeters a cube uh, of plasma, which does not line up to anything we saw on the KP chart indexes or line up to the spikes that we saw on CERN. So I'm guessing that any type of solar weather or space weather is not causing these reactions. I would love to know if you were able to sense the last eight hours plus of these Schumann resonance spikes, some off the chart over 105 hertz, some just significant spiking. Let me know if you're able to sense them and how you were affected, if you can, in the comments below. God bless you and yours. Please share. Please subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro world.